What's up everyone and welcome back to my Red Bull Leipzig career. We are fastly approaching the end of this second season. We are back at the top of the table. We're currently tied with Leverkusen in first place on 59 points. Dortmund are very close behind, only one point. And then after that, we've got a bit of a gap to everybody else. So it looks like it's going to be a bit of a three-horse race towards the end of this season. I don't even know where Bayern are. They've pretty much just dropped off altogether. So we don't even have to worry about them. In between episodes, we played another three games. And today, we did very well. I won't tell you what happens, but we're going to jump into it and take a look at how we got on now. First up, we kicked off our game against Munchen Gladbach. They had a very poor goal kick there. Timo Werner was able to get onto the end of it and slotted it into that top right-hand corner, making it 1-0 in only the fifth minute. Sabitzer had a chance as well, tried to chip there. Then Bele just about got it, run it into the net. That was already 2-0. You'd think the game was more or less done there, but no, Munchen Gladbach were on the way back. We didn't do very well clearing the ball out there, and Stindl managed to get it just below Donnarumma, literally just before half-time. Straight after half-time, Sabitzer had a chance, hit the post again, but this time he was able to finish it off himself. That made it 3-1. But once again, Munchen Gladbach were on the way back. We, this time, had poor distribution. Stindl with another goal, making it 3-2. Leon Bailey made it 4-2 in the 84th minute. Poor celebration, but that was that. After this, we had a game up against Freiburg. They had a very good ball through here. Don't know how they didn't score, but Jose Guy managed to get the ball out. So that was very good. Had a nice little ball over the top. Zabitza cut back a great cross. You can see Mbappe charging through the middle, managing to head that in. Late on in the game, but that was that. Another victory, 1-0 against Freiburg. Then in the final game, a few passes through the middle of the box. A bit was able to slot it just under the Hanover keeper. That was 1-0 there. Another good start. Then Werner had a good chance. I thought we slaughtered this here. The ball nearly went out. But Mbappe managed to get on the end of it, head it in, make it 2-0. You'd think that was the end of the game, but no. We'll ignore that dodgy celebration, but no. It wasn't the end. There were still more goals to come. Mbappe threw to Werner. He was able to slot it under the keeper and make it 3-0. But that still wasn't the end. Davy Selk was put through with a fantastic ball. Tried to slot it home, didn't work, but was able to head it in. That was today's game's three wins from three. So, as I said, we did very well and we definitely did. Three games, three victories, all pretty convincing as well. And that did take us back up to the top of the table. The other teams around us slipped up a little bit which allowed us to kind of jump in there and regain our place at the top of the table. We're just going to go a couple of days and then I think we should be jumping straight into our first match today. In between episodes, we actually offered a new contract to Lucas Glossman. He has actually rejected that. I'm not sure if we can find him once again and offer him a little bit more. I think we did actually offer this to him. We might have offered an extra two years instead but I guess he didn't want that, so he can be a critical first-team player, because that's what he is. One extra year, and we'll meet his wage demand. Our first match today is actually up against Schalke. They are kind of very low in the table, actually. I just had a look. They are in 12th. Uh, Bayern are just in front of them in 11th, so they really have dropped off this year. This is the team we're going to go for against them. We should be able to come out with a result as we're at home as well, so let's get into it and see how we can do. Alright, how are we going to get on today? We're up against Schalke. It's going to be an interesting one. Come on, Wiener. Nice, nice, Dembele. Oh, what a save. Through the gap, through the gap. Come on. Let's get a uh, ground. Oh, good save again. No, Kolasinac. Oh, good shot. Come on, let's get that out. Ah, oh, 1-0. Come on, get to that. Solid, solid. Let's get Werner through the lines. Come on. Oh, another save. Come on. No. For some reason, they're faster than us. That's a foul. Oh, come on, ref. Oh, please don't get sent off. I'm about to sub you off. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 
This could be our last chance. Let's get out, get out. Oh no. We were all over them from start to finish. They literally had like two or three chances and that was it. Oh, they're so annoying. So after that disappointing game, we did get a sending off and Marcel Sabitzer, he has actually only got a one match ban, so that's not too bad. I thought it was usually longer if you get a straight red. But yeah, it was a disappointing game. We lost 1-0. It's not really the best start to the day either. Anyway, now that we're past the disappointment of that first defeat of the day, we're going to do a quick training session. I'm going to take it myself, and as usual, we're not going to have to watch it, so I'll be back with the results in 3, 2, 1. And we are back. As you can see, it was very, very successful indeed. 5 A's. Carl Linz is nearly up to a 76, and everyone else made some good improvements overall. A nice little confidence booster before we get into our next game, which is up against Wolfsburg. Lucas Klosterman has accepted the deal. I'm not sure why he actually rejected it initially, but it doesn't matter now. We've uh, met his demands and he's extended for another season, which is very good to see. We've got another home game today. We're up against Wolfsburg. We're going to go with this lineup. It's a little bit different from last time. Bailey has moved from left wing back to more of an attacking midfielder as Jose Guy is back and Sabitz is injured and Bape is going up top. Bruno is coming in just behind the striker and we're actually giving Kaiser a rest today. Sanchez can play more in the holding deep midfielder role and ideally he's a little bit more attacking so he should be able to push through. Anyway... That is our team, so let's get into this match. Hi there, everybody. Delighted to have you along for the ride for this game. Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary position. Okay, so it's match day two. Hopefully we can come off the back of this game with a little bit more success in comparison to last one. Still going to be tough, though, because Wolfsburg are a very, very capable team. We are... In the 10th minute of the game, and I've literally just realised, thanks to commentary, that this is the last game of the season. I forgot that it's only a 34 game season and not 38 like the Premier League. And I didn't check the league table after the last game, so I'm not really sure where we're going to be in terms of points. So considering we lost, I don't think we're going to be able to win the title. That was nearly a great goal as well. Someone's running in back post. Can we get there? Oh, so nearly. Don't know who this is. Klosterman. Yes, let's go. Come on. 1-0. I don't know if that helps us out with the title, but who cares? Let's get that ball through there. What a ball it was indeed. Get the cross in. Someone's running in. Telemans. 2-0. Let's go, boys. Come on. Alright, so this is actually the, the big thing here. It's the last game of the season, which I didn't realise. I'll just point that out. And Dortmund and Leverkusen. Leverkusen are winning 1-0, which is bad if they got any points in their last game. Dortmund are losing, so they're kind of out of the equation at the moment. It might not be enough. At the moment, I don't think we're going to be winning. Oh, what was that? That was poor defending. That's what that was. 2-1. Alright, the game's back on. We've got to be careful. Oh, wait. Oh, Asberg have scored. That might put us back in the front. Surely not. Why does that... Oh, no way. Come on, Asberg. Get to that Donnarumma. Nice. Okay, let's take our time. Try and get it out quick if somebody can get onto it. We can't, it doesn't matter though. It wastes a tiny bit of time. Oh, Leverkusen have scored. No. I think we've lost. Please, Ausberg, score a goal. Otherwise, we're not going to win. Oh, that's so disappointing. I didn't even realise we were at the end of the season. And now we are. We're going to lose. Okay, that's the end. I don't think we won the title. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, 
Uh, clapping, but I think Asberg won. So, uh, Asberg lost, sorry. So that means Leverkusen won, and I think they won the title too. One point in it. Oh, I can't believe that. It's actually a really low scoring season. The, the, if that's the end, the title was won on 63 points. We lost eight games this year, and we still finished second. Bayern were down in 11th, Schalke 10th, Wolfsburg were in 12th. Like, that was such a low scoring season, but still, oh, I can't believe I forgot it was the last game. And we were so close. We won it last year. We had a. I'm going to say it was a disappointing season this year. Like, the ball thought we could do well, but we should have done better. We finished second, we were poor. We scored enough goals, but we just, I don't know, just didn't really go our way. Came down to the last game. Augsburg nearly helped us out, but not quite. So we were runners up this year in the Bundesliga. All right, so here's our email to pretty much start the season. We got our 36 million in prize money for finishing second place in the league. I think that is literally it. We have nothing else. I don't even think... We're going to be in anything next year. We're not going to be in any Super Cups or anything. We're just going to have pre-season and that's about it. I'm just going to keep on simulating from now on. Just doing the training sessions when they pop up. And then if anything else happens, I'll let you know. If not, I'll conclude out the episode in just a bit. So we've actually had a couple of players come to us saying that they might actually want out if we don't bring them up to the team. I think it was Alexander Roth and... Either Robert Kaiser or Oliver Kaiser. Um, I am going to bring up Alexander Roth. He's got massive potential. So we'll offer this to him. Three-year deal. I think that's good enough. We'll probably loan him out next year. Then I'm not sure. I'm going to say these guys are brothers. Robert and Oliver Kaiser. The Kaiser brothers. That's who they are. I'm not sure. I'm going to say it might be Robert Kaiser because he's older. But I'll have to take another look. So, Alexander Roth has accepted the contract, and the player was actually Robert Kaiser that wanted out. His potential is alright, but it's not exactly fantastic, so I don't actually think we're going to bring him up. If he wants to leave, he can. If he wants to stay, he's welcome to do that as well. So, we've got a few players' contracts who are actually expiring very soon. I'm not sure Il Sanka actually wants to stay, but I guess I could pay 30000 He's kind. Of, he's a he's a backup, but we'll we'll offer him two years. We'll say rotation. If he doesn't want it, we'll leave it at that. Redman, to be fair, we've got youth players that have come up, so I don't think we need him. And Bellot, probably the same. Maybe if he wants a one-year deal, we could do something like that. But if anything, that's kind of it. So we'll offer him that. See what he does. And here we go. Sanka has come back and he said whatever contract we offer him, he's not going to be signing. So I think that's pretty clear that he's going to be leaving the club. That's fine by me. We'll just have to look for somebody else to sign over the summer just to uh, replace him and fill that gap in the team. So just before we round up this season, I thought we'd take a look at our objectives. I haven't really tracked it as much this year as what I did in the first season, which is why we probably haven't done everything that we should have. The main thing is youth development, and we have kind of been slacking on that this year. We need to sign three players with potential over 75 to my youth squad and increase the potential by 10. We nearly did that, 86%, but not completely. Sign two youth players. Okay, so we didn't actually do that this year. We did that last season, but not this year. The long term, we haven't got close to yet. Brand exposure, I think we did do that. Um... I'm not sure about the long-term ones. Continental success, we did that. We've qualified again, so that's good to see. We've done all of the domestic successes, long-terms, everything. And then financial, there's nothing. So overall, not too bad. The main thing is youth development, which we did kind of fail on. So we'll have to have more of an emphasis on that next season. But overall, it hasn't been a bad season, but probably a little disappointing. And here we are. It's been a long old season. It was on off really, we we, uh, we were disappointing right at the end. We lost that game to Schalke and that literally threw away the title. I thought we could get it at the end. Augsburg did pull one back against Leverkusen, it was 1-0. It looked like it was going our way and then they scored one in the last minute. But 
Overall, it's kind of been an average season. Let me know down below what you think, if we should have done better. Also, who we should be going for next season in the transfer window, because there's probably quite a bit we need to do to the squad. Good old Cristiano Ronaldo is joining up, so that should be an interesting sight as well. Ronaldo in his Red Bull Leipzig kit. But yeah, that'll be in the next episode. So if you did enjoy today's one, remember to drop a like on this video. Leave me those comments, like I said a second ago, about what players you want to see me get, stuff like that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you all on the next video.